Hi YouTube, it's Dawn Star. I was just going to do an update on Jackson. Um, first off, I'm not sure where I left off, so I'm just going to tell you about the most recent things that we've been going through. I would say about six weeks ago or so, um, Jackson started to get a distended stomach, which is um, it's just really hard and big and uncomfortable and he couldn't um, go to the bathroom so um, he was life flighted up to Children's Primary Hospital in Salt Lake City and um, they thought they were going to have to do surgery for a bowel obstruction or a stricture so they were watching him and luckily we ended up not having to have him have surgery he just um, they did a contrast enema or a barium enema and that seemed to help. They're not sure what caused it. Um, so we kind of just have to keep an eye out for that. And we were there for a couple weeks. They were going to try and get us to be discharged to go home from up there. But Jackson um, was having trouble eating his bottles. So um, they life flighted us back down to St. George. So we've been back for about three weeks or so, maybe, maybe a month. Um, and the only thing holding us back from going home is Jackson eating his bottles. He only needs to take a bottle every three hours for 48 hours and then he gets to go home. So that's 16 bottles he needs to take and then he gets to go home. And they're not huge bottles, it's only 50 mLs which is just under two ounces and he won't do it. He can, he's done seven in a row. Um, not completely in a row, it's like skipping every other feed. And we did that and he did really good and so the doctor tried to put him on every feed and then he was like, I'm done, I don't want to do this. So we switched him back to every other feed and he still hasn't started eating again. Um, we've tried a lot of different things. We've tried a million different nipples. The basic hospital nipples, the advent nipples, the nook nipples, Dr. Brown's nipples. Um, special nipples for the cleft palate. Um, one, I forgot what it's called, and then the pigeon nipple, which is for a cleft palate. He doesn't have a cleft palate, but because of him having to be on the ventilator for as long as he did, he has a groove in the top of his mouth um, where the ventilator tube was, and he also has a high arch. So they were thinking maybe those sort of nipples would help, and they did, but they were um, causing him to brady, which is where his heart rate um, decreases, and he can't have any of those for seven days and go home. So it was kind of a catch-22. So um, the nipples we've decided on that seem to work best without giving him Brady's are the Soothy nipples. Um, we decided on that because he was sucking on the Soothy pacifier really well, which is what which is the kind the hospital gives. So he's been doing that on the Soothing Nipple for about three weeks now, two or three weeks, maybe a little bit more. And he can eat a whole bottle, he just won't. Um, I think he's lazy. <laughs> I think he knows he's going to get that food one way or another, and he'd rather not use his energy to do it. But he's at a stage where they can't let him skip feeds because he needs all the calories um, to keep growing. He weighs six pounds tonight so that's good and he's 18 and a half inches long but on Mother's Day was two was excuse me Mother's Day was a week after his due date so um, we're about 11 days 10 or 11 days past his due date with no sight of coming home and the only thing holding us back is him eating. So what I am asking all of my YouTubers and all of their churches and family and friends is if you could please pray for Jax, um, that he has the strength and the continued ability to eat his bottle so that we could go home, so that our NICU stay can be over. We are so done with being there. It's been 103 days, and I have no patience left. I hate the fact that I have to get in my car every single day to drive a half hour to go see my son. Um, it's irritating. I should just be able to roll over and see my son in his bassinet or know that he's in the house with me and I can see him any second of any day that I want to. 
So if you guys could please all pray for us. I know most of you have been all along, but please add a couple extra prayers that you will start eating all of his bottles. And so we could go home and so I can get some sanity back. I hope everyone is um, doing well and getting all their BFPs and sticky vibes and everything to everybody that they want. And if anything happens or Jackson starts eating from his bottle, I will let you guys know. Thank you guys so much, and you have a good night.